Amazing intro of awesomeness! Thank you, you too, Cap. The Ring of the Evil, evil Eye. It's one of the few forms in Dark Souls to get your HP back without drinking an Estus. Or like casting a miracle or something. Because removing that, there's only like... There's less than a handful of ways to restore your HP. If you don't know what the evil eye does, it basically grants you life steal, sort of. Or... I guess it's more like life kill steal. Because in normal life steal, you gain HP back just for doing damage. With the ring, you have to kill. You kill the enemy and you absorb a portion of their HP as your HP. That's what it does. But outside of like healing miracles and Estus, ways to heal, I can only think of two. When one's this ring, the other is the Sanctus shield, which like gives you one, H restores one HP to you every second, which is kind of nice. I mean, if you got, if you've taken damage and you got nothing really better to do than stand around and wait, it's pretty nice. Or if you just like got a little scratch on you, it's nice. Come back! Where do you think you're going? But, like, you get down to, like, that last segment of your HP bar. Or if I did, and I had the same, I would not just sit around and wait for it to sink this. Because there, there's a certain point in which I'll stand around and just wait for my HP to regen if I had that, and then there's a certain point where I won't. My time may not be worth much to most, myself included. But I think it's worth more than sitting around for like 30 minutes waiting for my HP to regenerate. At a ratio of 1 second for 1 HP. And I've got 742 HP, and I totally just walked in here without even knowing it. But 700 and, uh, was it 42? Yeah, 42 HP, that's... That's 740, I'll say 40, because I doubt I'll be walking around with zero HP. That's quite a long time. That's like, um, divide it by, I don't know why I'm like trying to divide it by three. That's like, uh, um, maybe five minutes? I don't know. I can't do the math in my head at the moment. Or I could, but I don't feel like it. Anyway, we're gonna fight the Gaping Dragon. You don't get invaded. Like to see someone invade me. Me when the freaking uh, game for Windows Live is dead. For me, at least. And I'll candle that. Mostly for the second playthrough if I ever do one, which probably won't be recorded, but whatever. Or if I should happen to die like a dumbass. Not gonna deal with those... I think they're called slimes? I don't know. Every RPG has... has... two things. Two to three things. Slimes, bats, and rats. I don't, there are no bat enemies in this game, but there are rats. And, uh, I can call these things slimes because they look like slimes. I think there are bats in the game, but there's not enemies. Meh, nah, whatever. This guy. I know there's a slime that hangs out up on the ceiling. There he is. But I never remember where he is exactly, unless I'm standing like over here and looking at him. Deal with these rats. Because I didn't deal with them now, I'm pretty sure they'd come at me during the boss fight or something, and that would be an interesting sight to see. But it's a sight to see that I don't care to see. Come on, rat! Come on, rat! Come on, rat! Where are you going? Where are you freaking going? Nowhere! 
just gotta gently walk here, try not to draw the aggro of those stupid basilisks. I gotta like walk in over here and to where one of them can see me. A little more. Uh, he sees me. He sees me. He's coming after me. And that freaking Kirk's coming after me. They got me because I wasn't paying attention. I'm not really interested in this guy at the moment. I'm more interested in if the Basilisk is coming after me, which I don't think it is. This guy's really not doing much. His sword's kind of cool because it, like, does bleed. But aside from that, it's just like a normal longsword, which is not very good. Is that Basilisk coming after me? I don't think he is. Oh, he, f he freaking was! Nope. Let the fight continue! I really, like, can't afford to trade blows with this guy. Gotta conserve my healing devices. Why not? Well, what is it? Take that, NPC. Yay. Did it. Whatever, I don't care. Think I care? I don't know if you could really say casual eliminated. AI eliminated. Casual AI. Eh, AI doesn't... It's not the best. It's not the worst either. Fucking man. This rat, because even though they run away, once they stop running away, they do come after you. At least they come after me. I don't care about the slime. But he is slowly crawl, slowly. Uh, what do you call when a slime moves? Do he crawling or like slithering? I don't know. He is propelling himself in the direction that I'm currently in. We'll pray to the health god. Thank you, man. Always got my back, except for those times when you don't got my back. Uh, I always forget which way to, which way you go. I think it's this way. Nope, should have known, dummy. If I can summon Loudtrick, I'm going to do it. Mostly because I've not been able to summon Loudtrick in a long time, because he does not like me apparently. It's uh, a little beneath this one. Come on. I don't know if I'm going to summon Solaire, because I usually do summon Solaire. He's right there. But he doesn't... Ah, uh, Electric's not here. Bastard. Heavy crossbow. I now have a projectile. Am I going to equip it? Let's... Uh, I probably will. Oh, I just had the light crossbow. The light crossbow... Light crossbow sucks. The heavy is five more damage for four extra strength. That, that's not a good ratio. Five. I don't have any bolts selected. Five more damage for four extra strength. That's a, that's a pretty crap ratio, I think. I actually don't even care about the crossbow because you can't aim the damn thing. All you can do is just shoot locked on, dude. Shoot those you're locked on to. Which doesn't help me at all. Because if I'm standing close enough to lock on, I might as well just hit him with him. Hit him with my sword. Hello, Solaire! Solaire, the true bro. Of the sun. He's always there when you need him. Except for the fight with Gwyn, where if you don't do this stupid, you don't open a shortcut for that. For the one cult, he like dies or something.
Look at the mouth on this one. Come on, Slayer. We got work to do. I'd like to cut this one's tail off. It does make the fight easier cutting his tail off. He does have an annoying tail swipe thing. No, I always get the kick when I don't want it. But I never can get the kick when I need it. Tail swipe. Hey, he's got that. Oh, shoot. That's the attack that killed me several times in the past when I first fought this guy. Solaire, punch him in the face. I will continue with... I need like one more good hit on his tail. Ah! Oh. Kidding me? Okay, one more good hit. Yeah! Called it. He's almost half dead. And Solaire is still alive by quite a bit. I hope the AI the AI summons in Dark Souls 2 are a lot better in this than they are in this one because like so he just like stood there and took it. He didn't even try to avoid that. Look at that. He just lost like 80% of his HP because he just stood in front of the stupid dragon and took all the hits. Come on, Talair! Come on, Talair! Uh, he'll probably die to that. Yep, that killed him. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, I got greedy! Alright, this thing's about half dead, and Talair did. He didn't really do much in that fight. Oh no. I saw him throw a lightning spear once. Uh, bollocks, I can't get away! My weapons and armor! Ah, oh, damn it. I did buy repair powder. So, good job, me. Is my shield like broken? Uh, that's fine. I think my shield's... No. Oh, it must be my armor then. Nope. I don't know what he's done. I'm just like walking in circles looking. Uh, no. Okay, I don't know what the hell that... Oh, is my stupid talisman thing broken? How the hell do you break my talisman? I don't care. Like I said, I won't. It's not like I'll get a chance to use it during a fight. Maybe against this. Maybe against this guy because he does that stupid stampede move. Gives you plenty of time to get out of the way, or plenty of time to do whatever. Oh no! Nope. <gasps> Like, if he had his tail, I'd probably be dead by now. Because he... He can hit you with his tail when he's, like, stampeding. Um, oh, that was dumb. That totally would've hit me if he had the tail. No question, that would've hit me. More... Three hits and fall back. Slash move out of the way. In the area, I'll pick this up. Hard leather. Might be better pants because my pants are kind of trashy. Or kind of crappy. It's always mildly amusing to me when he does like the, tries to do the tail swipe, but he, I already cut his tail off, so it like doesn't do anything. Like, it's not a tail swipe, it's like a nub swipe. And he is almost dead. Like, two more of those, and he'll be gone. Or one more if I can get some, get some little pot shots in. Like that! Except hitting him. What the hell? 
One more hit. Actually, more like two more hits. Or actually, I'm gonna get him with a strong attack. Oh, and he just lets it happen. Yeah! Eat me! Yay, the Blight Town Key. That was actually pretty good, Gabe. I thought that was probably the best fight I've done against a boss. Might actually be the best fight I've ever done against a Gaping Dragon. But that is a story I doubt anyone will really care. Or, that is a statement I doubt anyone will really care about, because I don't really care about it. And I'm the only one who really who it really affects. So whatever. The dragon is dead, and we can continue into the worst area in the game. Or at least the area that I hate the most in the game. And dividing Blight Town in half, which I think most people do, because it's like Upper Blight Town, which is fucking hell, and Lower Blight Town, which is mosquito hell. I hate going through North, through Upper Blight Town, because anywhere you go, one wrong move, and you fall to your death. I hate Lower Blight Town because of uh, anywhere you go, there's a fucking mosquito. Actually, it's more like three fucking mosquitoes coming after you. Um, yeah, we'll keep going. Hmm. Actually, 